Yo, this is Itano Plays Pokemon Soul Silver. So, are you guys ready for another journey here at the um, Counter Region? I am, because today we're gonna get ourselves a legendary Pokemon. In one of my previous episodes, when we went up the Counter Coastline, I talked about that uh, Suikun. You seen said that Suikun is not probably at the permanent spot for this time, and that he's gonna be waiting for us, our trainers. Now, in order to get to Suikun, we have to be able to fight him. And now to fight Suku, we need to find where he is. Now we've gotten some leads to where he is. First of all, he's to the north. Which means probably northern region of Kanto. He's in a place with a hill. Which probably means in a more mountain side north, far north. Near water. That makes me giving some clues. So he's north, which means he probably is around here somewhere. Near a hill, it could maybe even be where we came from. But he needs to be near water. And if he's near a hill and water, then either he's gonna be around here or around here. Now I think I'll go to the upper side first and check it out. So let's go north to back to Cerulean Bridge, north to Route 24 and 25. Make sure you have your Pokeballs ready, Ultra Balls, and everything. Um, when regarding. Uh, now some people have been asking me as well, can you use Heavy Balls on Suikun? I'm pretty sure you are not able to, because I don't think Suikun is big enough. I think he actually is a rather uh, thin Pokemon in terms of size. Let me just double check that. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it's enough actually. Yeah, he's actually too light, sadly. The thing is that he, Suikun is about 420 pounds, I think. Which is a kind of lot for a human being, but he's not a human being, he's a, he's a Pokemon. But the thing is that, in Generation 4 and onwards, you need to be waiting at least 451.5 pounds to get the bonus for Heavy Ball. So you won't get any bonus for Heavy Ball at all. Which is a bit sad, but that's fine though. But no problem though. Let's even see if we can find him up here. But that means if we're gonna find him, we probably have to do it the normal way with Ultra Balls, with uh, yeah, you know, you know what to do. Pummel him away and hopefully get him. Let's get his item though. We didn't get last time because he didn't have Cut now. But we put it on Zizor, which means sadly we don't have uh, Full Swipe anymore. But I'm pretty sure we can get him down to health. A protein, which will add to boost up some stats. Okay. So, this is near water. I can't see him anywhere. This is the hill. Let's see where else he can be. Aha! There he is. Look at that. It's cute little Suikun. But is this the permanent spot though? <laughs> maybe it is. Or maybe it runs away again. Okay, so. Suikun. You are gonna be mine. I won't be putting in the team because I'll be using for alligator. But I still want to catch you. That's my point in this one. Ampharos will be important here because being a water type is weak to electric and I need to paralyze him as well to have a chance to even capturing him. Or a Pokeballs going. We have Great Balls, Ultra Balls, Dusk Balls, even the Master Ball, but I'm not going to use the Master Ball. Even only if I be able to find the Latios or Latias, Wild, then I maybe I'll catch one. Fast Ball, Quick Ball. I think, our, I think our Pokeball collection is going to be fine. Not too many now, but... I'm going to try Quick Ball, though, at least for just to be... See if I have luck. Alright, let us begin and meet with Suki. <sighs> I am no match for you, as I predicted. Go ahead. Since I met you in the burned tower of Utrecht City, I sort of known that Suikun would choose you. Take a look at it, Suikun is waiting for you. It has been waiting for a battle with a worthy twin to whom it can entrust itself. So here we go, everyone. When you're set and ready, approach Suikun. And let's get ready to battle. Here we go. 
only one of the legendary dogs that you can't find in the wild is gonna be Sukun. He won't be running away, he's gonna fight. He has the pressure ability, so beware. He might take down your PP ability down, but I'm not gonna give up for that. First of all though, just to see if I'm lucky, we're gonna start off with a fastball. Not a fastball, a uh, quick ball. Let's see if we're lucky on the very first attempt. One. No. Okay, so quick ball strategy didn't work, but that's fine. So you can now we're using mist. Which means uh, status changes will no longer be working, so you cannot up or down your, your status. But I will use use Thunder Wave. Paralyze Sukun. So make sure that Sukun will be obeying my commands. Sukun will just answer with Rain Dance, which means his power of water moves will go up. Not a very good thing we want to see. Now I want to see if Discharge will be able to KO it or if it will survive. Hopefully it will survive. Let's see. It's effective though, but will Sukun survive? He will! Great, this is really good. Aurora Beam from Suikun, which is an ice move. Doing some damage. Rain Clan continues to fall. Well, this is great. We got him down to so low health, and he's already in the paralyzing state. It's time for us to get the Pokeballs going. And again, Heavy Ball will not give him the bonus. It's not good to use it. Fast Ball. He's not a quick enough Pokemon, but let's go with Ultra Balls. Let's see how many times we need to cast Ultra Balls to win against Suikun. Attempt number one. Straight out. Unfortunate. So you can really use Mist again, but it's gonna fail. The rain's gonna keep then going on as long as Rain Dance is active for about five turns. Trouble. Attempt number two. Come on, Suikun. Join me. No, he doesn't want to. Suikun with Aurora Beam number two as well. Do some ice damage. Mist goes off, and the rain keeps falling down. Find them. Let's go with Ultra Ball attempt again. One of those Ultra Balls should get him down, but which one will it be? One. It goes back again. So again with Gust. Kind of weird move that he has that. A very weak wind attack onto Ampharos. That's fine though. Probably is his way to counter Grass types, which might be fighting him, but not gonna do anything guilty against Electric types. One. Nope. Sukun does not want to be captured. Paralyzing hits for Sukun, and we can keep on battling. So we've seen his abilities, you have Mist, Rain Dance, Gust, and Aurora Beam. It's kinda weird though. He's a water type that doesn't have any water damaging moves. But that's kinda his issue though. Ice and flying moves he has, water and... What's the last one again? Ah, uh, Mist, yeah, that's an ice as well. So two ice, one flying. One. No. Nope. Still haven't gotten past one yet on the Ultra Balls. It's not looking very good. The Roar Beam is going to keep coming though, but we just have to fight it out. Good thing we have some Pokemon in our team that will be resistant to both the flying and to the ice. I have to keep the Ultra Balls going. One. Nope. He still doesn't want to go past one. This might actually be a troublesome match for me. I actually can't do it though. I only wasted seven Pokeballs and I have to keep going. Come on, Ultra Ball attempt number 7 or 8. It's gonna go straight out. Another Aurora Beam coming out from Suikun. Takes down to 54. It's still not good enough for Suikun. Here comes Ultra Ball attempt again. 1, 2. Oh, we're getting to 2 now! Is he getting tired? No, he does not get tired, he's just about RNG. We have to keep trying though. Try again with Ultra Ball attempts until we get it down. If we have another Pokemon that can withstand Sukun, but I don't hope that Sukun is going to go down the PP and struggle on himself, which means he's going to kill himself. That's going to be bad. Aura Beam reduces my attack power, which is because uh, it doesn't have Mist available or has used Mist now, so status changes can occur. Ultra Ball attempt again. We kick out straight away. Not very really good. Sukun with another Aurora Beam. I really wish I had the heavy ball usage here, but there's no way to make him heavier. I think. Have to keep trying. 
Oh. He's breaking free. He's paralyzed though, which is good. To keep trying though, come on. Get in my Pokeball! Yeah, that will work. Glorbeam, keep standing. We don't want to KO him for us, but that's fine. He won't be cured of his paralysis, so... <coughs> I'm fine with that. Next Pokemon to be used? Yeah. So which one can be good against ice and against flying? Zizor will be a good one. Being a steel type, you're very resistant, so that's good. No thing we can do to damage it here, so we just have to keep doing the Pokeballs out onto the Suicune. Ultra Ball attempt again. Let's see what this will bring us. One? No. It doesn't want to get captured. So we can gust onto Caesar. We'll do normal damage now because he's a dual type Pope, bug and uh, steel. He's weak to flying as a bug type, but he's strong against uh, flying types as a steel. And the Ultra Balls just keep going and going and going, and this is not really going well for me. Unfortunate. Rainers keep falling down, and we are struggling a bit here, but we have to keep trying. Come on now. Please enter my Pokeball. Two. God damn it. He doesn't want to get captured. Such a lame Pokemon. Trying though, there's nothing else we can do. We have to keep trying. But if we're going so low that we're not gonna have any Pokeball set, I probably will just have to use my Ultra Ball or Ultra Ball, but Master Ball. Because I think the other Pokemon we can fight in uh, later on will be, I won't be say easier, but I think we should be able to capture them. But keep trying at least. Ultra Ball attempt again. He has to be captured. You know he doesn't want to. He has to be captured. I'm so certain about that. Come on. Rain Dance. It's gonna keep the thing going down. I will just keep doing Ultra Bolts. One of them has to do it. One, two, three. Finally! Sukun was resistant for so long, but he won't be resisting me. Sukun is captured. And we are ourselves a new Pokémon in our team! Sukund Aurora Pokémon This Pokémon races across the land. It is said that north winds will somehow blow whenever it appears. Great! And Sukund will be transferred to Bill's PC. Sitano, you two are truly amazing. I've never seen a battle this intense. I have no regrets. Farewell, Sukin. Farewell, Sitano. Farewell indeed, Yuzin. And we have ourselves a new legendary Pokemon in our team. Great! But again, I won't be using it because I think I want to stick with Feraligator. I could of course stick with Sukin, but I think Feraligator will be the better choice. Now then, what are we going to do next? I think it's going to do next now. We'll be involving heading further south. Because... We have gotten the gym badge from Pewter City, we still have two more badges to get from Viridian City and from Cinnabar Island. Viridian City seems to be the closest one, so to get there we need to go to Pewter City and head south. Let's do that right away. There we go, let's first go into the... Uh, ...and heal up, because we took some damage there from... Uh, Sukun. That's fine though. There we go. We got healed up and we are ready to move on. Let's see. Amphros is uh, being healed up, so he'll be my lead Pokemon again. Let's check out Sukun's stats before we move on though. And you see Lapras from before. Here we have him. Sukun with serious status, which is really good for us. That means uh, he has no changes in his um, terms of uh, patterns. Serious means that he has the same attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed as before. You see, Sukun has very low attack power. His even special attack is not really high, but the king about uh, Sukun is his high special defense. 
He's a very tanky Pokémon when it comes to special attacks. Defense is even decent, well, but generally it's not a very offensive Pokémon. Rain Dance, Gust, Aurora Beam, and Mist. He has the Pressure Ability, which is a common, common legendary Pokémon. But generally, I don't find Sukut to be like a super strong Pokémon, but he's a legendary one, so... Feel free to use him if you want a Water-type Pokémon, but generally even Lapras would be better here. Lapras here has the... Uh, Naive, uh, spe Naive one, which means that he has increased uh, speed and reduced special defense. Not really the best one, but I guess more speed is not that bad for Lapras, who is very decent with stats. He has very high health. His attack, defense, special attack is about the same, special defense as well. Speed the lowest, but at least speed is not as bad anymore. So I'll probably even recommend using a Lapras over a Suicune. But again, it depends what you want to use though. Now we are healed up, we are ready to move south. And to go south, we will end up on a route in which we came from, where we came from the Diglett Tunnel, which will be route number two. Now in Generation 2's Gold and Silver, there were no forests here, they just replaced it with some uh, grass patterns and some trees you can cut. A lot of people complained about the loss of Radiant Forest in Gold and Silver and Crystal, and I can agree with them. So what did they do with Heart Gold and Soul Silver? Look what we have! Meridian Forest is back to its old self. Awesome. Which is what we're gonna explore here as well. And you see here, the bug catchers are here too. We're gonna fight them. But not now. We will do it in the next episode. So next episode, guys, we're gonna go through Meridian Forest, head south to Meridian City, see if we can find a gym leader there, and maybe increase our badge fold from 14 to 15. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook, and that's it for now, so I'll see you guys next time as my journey in Pokemon SoulSilver will indeed continue.